This is Tony from Winner's Edge Trading. One of the things I do here at Winner's Edge is every weekday I write at least one fundamental analysis article um, for the Winner's Edge readers. And in this session, I want to teach you the what, why, and how to of fundamental analysis. So what is fundamental analysis? It is valuing a currency based on the economic fundamentals of that currency's host country. Fundamentals are anything related to the economic well-being of that country. So that could be anything from employment rates to earthquakes, uh, credit downgrades to cash rates and CPIs, retail sales, rate statements, um, real estate figures of the housing market, anything that could affect that country economically. Uh, when we talk about fundamental analysis, that's what we mean. Um, analyzing these news events or stories um, that can affect the country's well-being, that can in turn affect the currency's well-being. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about fundamental analysis. And really, a lot of people would say that it's the cornerstone of investing. Um, just overall in investing, for example, if you want to invest in a stock, you do fundamental analysis on that. You you look at the corporation, you go through their financial statements, you look at their history, um, are they oversold, are they undersold, uh, do they have potential, is there potential profit in that for me based on their history and the fundamentals of that company, the things that go on with that company, not just a chart, not just looking at chart on the data, but uh, the fundamentals of that corporation should I invest in that and it's the same thing with the forex market it's looking beyond the chart which is very important too but it's looking beyond that and seeing um, you know what's behind the scenes of the market I see that the euro yen has went uh, in the bullish direction like 3200 pips in the past seven months that's great but why did it do that um, well it did that because because the euro uh, has more of a positive outlook now. There's, there's a positive outlook for 2013. And then the yen, of course, with the new prime minister, uh, Shinzo Abe, coming back into power, who wants to weaken, unashamedly weaken the yen more and more. Um, the yen has dropped, too, especially because there's new uh, Bank, of Japan, Bank of Japan, excuse me, government coming into office soon. Uh, and it's expected that they will be on board with what the Prime Minister wants to do, which is further weaken the yen, so the sentiment and all these things that this fundamental uh, news and, and these stories and the things that Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, says, they affect the value of the currency, and those are some of the reasons why uh, the euro has been so strong compared to the yen recently. So that So you can look at a chart and see, okay, great, this currency pair moved this amount of pips but why does it happen um, of course there's different factors too, like support and resistance but if you if you're looking behind that you're gonna find other reasons too and uh, so that's what fundamental analysis is so why use fundamental analysis it's a tool in your trading tool belt um, if you're on a job, say if you work construction and you need a hammer, and, and you turn around, you look for a hammer, you can't find a hammer. You're not going to be able to do your job. The right, you're not always going to need a hammer. Maybe you don't need one every single day at the at the job you're working at. But when you do need one, when there is an opportunity uh, for you to put that tool to use, you're going to have it in your tool belt, uh, so to speak. So it's something that you can have in your your tool belt, your arsenal, things that you can draw, draw from and use in your trading instead of just being limited to what you already use, which may be good, uh, but fundamental analysis is another skill, another topic to know about that can benefit your trading, even if it's not something you want to focus on, still knowing it and being aware of it and, and listening to some news events uh, is going to be beneficial to you in your trading. And it also keeps you sharp on what is behind the market. We just talked about this. Um, but when you look at a chart, you see a certain pair moving in a certain direction. 
uh, you don't know why all the time. And when you know the why, why it's happening, then you can better anticipate the what. So if you know that the euro is getting stronger uh, because the ECB president, uh, Mario Draghi, gave a good outlook for, for the euro, he said that by 2014, uh, the eurozone recovery is going to be finished. Euro is going to be great. Uh, he didn't say that, but um, if he did, you can expect the euro to be very, very strong, and not only be strong when he announces that, but be strong throughout uh, however many years um, it lasts throughout that time frame uh, because of what he said, because you knew the fundamental analysis, you knew the why behind it, you knew why the euro was stronger, um, you can better anticipate the what of, okay, what's going to happen next. It's going to continue to be stronger because he said that by 2014 there's going to be a recovery. That's just an example, um, but that's one of the reasons why knowing uh, fundamental analysis is important in your trading. Alrighty. Um, well, we're going to look at a great example of fundamental analysis. Many of you, I'm sure, have heard of George Soros. Uh, he, he's done a, a, a lot of trading, a lot of investing, a lot of things, but I want to look at one thing that happened in 1992. I'm sure you probably heard about it, um, but in 1992 the Great British Pound uh, was not looking so hot. There were a lot of inconsistencies in its economic positions and, and things that were going on with uh, inside Great Britain at that time, and people noticed this, uh, including George Soros. They realized what was happening. They realized there were inconsistencies uh, in the monetary um, outlook of the of the nation at that time. And so they sold the pound like crazy. And uh, what, it, what eventually happened is the pound, they left the European exchange rate mechanism, um, which was an organization that was established in the 70s to help uh, achieve monetary stability in the eurozone but anyway the pound left uh, this group and when they did the pounds value fell very exponentially very dramatically very fast and George Soros one of the people that took advantage of that uh, collapse you could say uh, pocketed nearly two billion dollars because he he saw the fundamental uh, things behind um, what was going on he saw the fundamental inconsistencies and in, in, in the news and in, in these things inside the government that were just ready to topple and fall and crash so he took advantage of it and because of that uh, fundamental analysis he made like two billion dollars I think it was less than that but nearly two billion dollars is what I read um, so that's pretty impressive that's obviously that doesn't happen every day um, but it's inspiring to at least adopt some uh, fundamental analysis in your trading plan, at least know about it, at least uh, consider it, because it is a very powerful tool, as we talked about, in your trading tool belt. All right, so let's look at how to apply fundamental analysis. We know what it is. It's investigating the economic situations, the everything that can uh, change the economy in that currency's country. Um, all these factors come into play and the news, all these things, and um, analyzing these uh, to help predict uh, which way the currency is going. That's fundamental analysis. But how do we apply it? How do we actually incorporate it into our trading? The first way is to pay attention um, to news releases, to, to pay attention to the things that are happening economically, uh, not just what's happening on the charts, but what's happening in that currencies a country and economy uh, the outlook of that of that country is it good news is it bad news um, is the unemployment rate uh, dropping or is it increasing is the uh, our retail sales going up or down where is this economy at uh, fundamentally where is this currency at fundamentally and how can I apply that to my trading and there's really two ways to uh, trade with this information. There's short term and there's long term. Um, I tend to favor the long term, but a short term would say something like, okay, today is Thursday. The United States unemployment claims are coming out at 8.30. Uh, they were good, so I'm going to buy the U.S. dollar. 
Um, I, I wouldn't call that the safest way to trade fundamental analysis. I would prefer the long-term uh, trading, which looks more like this. It would look more like um, the central bank just had a meeting. They say the outlook is great for the rest of the year. The unemployment rate, uh, it just dropped. The retail sales, they just went up. I think this would be a good time to go long and maybe look to hold this for two to three months, even up to a year, uh, depending on what your trading plan is, and doing it that way. Not, not like a scalping method, but a long-term strategy based on the uh, three, six, nine-month outlook of that currency pair. Now in review, here are some uh, points to make sure you really grasp concerning fundamental analysis to take home with you. In other words, uh, understand the significance of it, that, that behind the charts, uh, a lot of times there's economic things happening that are moving the markets, that there's more to trading than, than just what you see when you look at charts. And by studying the economics, you can know what that is, why things are happening, and then better anticipate the what in the future. Um, the next thing is, you know, don't be off balance. You don't need to, you know, trade all fundamental analysis or all technical analysis. If you are, uh, if you don't really use fundamental analysis at all, then that's fine. Focus on your strength, but maybe even use fundamental analysis to confirm your technical analysis that it if you think you should go along on the uh, euro dollar maybe check out the fundamental news the economic releases in that current time and see if that's confirming what you're seeing on the technical side of things and that can help you uh, with your confidence for the trade um, in your deciphering whether that is a good trade for that time or not should I wait should I wait until tomorrow until after the unemployment claims uh, come out to make sure that the uh, sentiment is still good for the euro or whatever the case uh, focus on your strength but make sure you don't ignore um, fundamental or technical uh, be alert um, there's a lot of ways to receive the news um, every day every weekday on winners edge trading there's a fundamental analysis article there of course there's things like forex factory and other websites too where you can get a lot of great um, economic news very easily uh, to keep you informed and know what's going what's happening behind the scenes and I would also say keep a long-term perspective and use everything uh, to your advantage so maybe you don't need to use fundamental analysis right now you're not interested but have it ready know what it is know how to apply it know how to use it be familiar with the economic releases and the different news events so you can uh, use it to complement your trading that you can take advantage of everything that's available to you not to complicate or make things complex or make your trading plan 10 pages long but just so you have this um, simple concept to apply to your trading when needed or when you want to or when you see a great opportunity to do so all right well this was some basic information on the what why and how to of fundamental analysis